today I will show you how to make this crazy warp transition. Yo, it's Povikas here and real quick guys if you're new to the channel, my name is Povikas and I've been a video editor for over 7 years now and I also run the best video editing website called povikas.com where I have absolutely insane video editing presets that you can literally take and drag and drop and you'll have insane visuals. I use these presets every day and I would 100% recommend to go and check them out and they will be linked in the description. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have some clips of osamu -san from his 3x music video and what we can do is press ctrl to y and this is where I will be transitioning from this clip to this clip. And here we can just start by an effect, so the first effect I'll add is going to be S shake which will Will give us some impact and let's turn on the motion blur and let's make the amplitude to 0.5 and let's give him the amplitude and now let's add a mini max and here let's make the radius to 4 and also keyframe it it's very important to keyframe guys and now let's add s flicker which will give us as you can tell flicker now it's important to understand that for s flicker and s shake you do need the sapphire plugin so if you don't have it it's not that important but you should really have it and here i'm going to make the amplitude to 0 0.5 and let's keyframe it and now let's add s hotspots a very optional effect and here let's make the threshold to 0 0.45 and keyframe it and now the most important effect here which doesn't require any plugins by the way it's going to be warp and let's make the bend here to minus 100 now you might be wondering that doesn't look good well let's go to warp style and make it to fisheye yeah that looks way better and let's keep him the bend here at minus 100 and the last effect which is optional it's going to be either deep glow 1 or deep glow 2 whichever you have it's a paid plugin so if you don't have it you don't need it and let's make the exposure here to 0 0.5 and let's keyframe it and now we can press u to see all of our keyframes that we just made and we can go like seven eight frames backwards you know i don't even know how many frames do how many frames you want and here we can make everything to zero so let's make s shape to zero minimax to zero s flicker to zero you know just literally everything needs to be zero here and we can select all of these keyframes like this press ctrl c and go to the middle now from the middle go like eight frames forward or something like that maybe seven frames forward actually and press ctrl v this will just pretty much make the keyframes to zero at the ending as well or you could have just manually made them to zero here as well and now don't get too excited now it doesn't look that good still so we haven't done the most important part yet which is the graphs so a lot of people hate graphs i love graphs honestly let's go to the graphs so let's select the s shake amplitude keyframes and press f9 and let's go to the graph editor don't worry guys this is not scary at all let's just make this point go a bit forward like this and this point go a bit down and this point go a bit down as well and this point pretty much like right here you see nothing to worry about here it's just pretty chill but the most important graph the warp graph this is the bend one so let's press f9 here and let's go to the graph editor and here we need to stick this out a bit like down like that kind of and this like this and also this one a bit more here and this one a bit more and this is already looking way better but that's not done yet let's press out of it let's select all of the keyframes from deep glow 2 make the deep glow graph like this oh yeah let's go out of the deep glow graph and actually take this point right here yeah we are going to add the deep glow effect right here here. oh and another important one is the s hotspot so let's select all the keyframes press f9 and go to the graph editor and here make it really really sharp like that go out of it and drag this keyframe right here just like the deep go to we don't want it to continue after and now you will have an absolutely crazy warp effect just like that and what we can do is we can call this warp i'm going to cut it up by pressing ctrl shift d from both of the sides so just so it's easier to use and now we can press ctrl to y and add some energy to this or just some distortion shakes so to add like crazy distortions or shakes we can use my impact presets pack which will be linked in the description it is an absolutely insane pack so what we can do is just add distortion flash impact and add it below warp 2 now let's see how it looks boom just actually nuts so yeah actually guys let's just keep going so let's press ctrl d on the warp layer and press u to see the keyframes and so this is the transition point so we can put it exactly where it transitions between this clip to this clip and here we can press ctrl y again and here i'm going to be adding extreme ripple it is important to mention that this pack does require the sapphire plugin but if you have the sapphire plugin this pack is a must and let's press ctrl d on the warp layer again and take it right here i want to finish it 
on all of the clips. So here, let's press Control Y again. And actually, this one, let's make it go below warp and let's add the green distortion shake. So this is how it looks with the green distortion shake. Really, really good, but we're not done yet. Here we have a last clip, which is like a really slow clip of Osama's on smoking. So we can take this warp, press Control D, drag it on top of here, press U to see the keyframes. Yeah, transitions right here. Now let's press Control Y and now I'm going to add one of my favorites, it's going to be Puddle Impact. I use that effect so much, I have pretty much lost the count. And let's just see how that looks. Boom! As you can see, it just does this really, really nice puddle. I, I just love those type of like puddle ripple effects. I don't know about you guys, but I love them. And here is the result. Absolutely nuts. This is an insane warp transition. And I would abuse this transition as much as possible in your videos, because it just looks really, really nice. And honestly, just combine it with these impacts, and you will have one of the best transitions for music videos and also guys as a gift for watching these tutorials and just supporting the channel i have to let you know that if you use code povikas at the checkout you will save five dollars off on the impact presets pack but anyways guys it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya